welcome again in previous we create a new resource of products we create our entity then create migration run migration and for create new products we created a dto and check the dto now we will work on the method create method so open src folder then products the products controller this is our create method and we know this should be async and return it will have it and here we have to check who can create a product obviously admin so we need actually two guards first one is authentication then the authorized admin so at use guards now authentication guard then authorized guard okay and authorized guard we have to set roles of admin roles dot admin okay save this file now we have to work on service products service page so open product service now here here is our create function this should be async and to work on our database we need constructor and inject use repository inject repository and we are injecting products entity product entity now is private read only product repository that is product repository of product entity repository of product entity okay and after that we need a brace now create here const product equal to these dot product repository dot create that is create product dto now we have to save this here await these dot product repository dot save product For now, ignore this error and create product DTO. We know in create product DTO we have category ID, but this category ID is not validated yet. To validate, we have to check in database that this category ID is exist in our category table. To do this, we need to send this ID to category service and find one method to check. To use category service. We need actually category service to export from category module. So I'm opening category module here. After category service providers, we can export from these exports category service categories service like this and save this, but not only exporting we also import category module from our products module so i am opening products module here controllers product controller before this we have to import our imports and here i am opening again categories module 
here we use this type ORM for category entity. We need there the same and its product entity. Okay. And in their imports, we need category module to import categories module. Now save it, close it. In product service, we inject our repository. Now we can get this service. So private read only category service and this is type of category category service now we can check const category equal to have it the these dot category service dot and now we can say see, see that our method that we have work on in our category services so we need this find one method okay and find one needed id and we know in create product video we have a category field that is id so plus create product video dot category okay now what we can do product dot category equal to category and product dot added by but who is added logged in user added so open products controller we have to pass their current user and we can get this from current user param decanator current user current user and we know this current user type is user entity and we have to pass user entity current user current user now what we have to do is receive this current user from this method current user that is type of user entity okay and added by this current user save this file and we know this will return promise promise of product entity Open terminal number is not assignable. Okay, and open my DTO, create product DTO, and see if there is any problem. It's string title, description string, number, number, list, number. There is no problem. I don't think there is any problem. Actually, there is no problem. We have made make problem when we creating when we created our entity of products let's open product entity here is our product entity this is product entity and there is a relation one for user entity and another one for category entity we set category then colon category entity and this category when product entity or product table is created on database for the field it takes always id for added by it takes always id so actually if we open pg admin then there is our products table and here is product tables fields if you see here is category id then added by id so i am closing this product entity category create category product here is category and 
for this this cannot match the actual table so we have to make this change to category id now if we go there it's no there is no problem because it's match but here there is no more in create product video create product video we have changed it category id so in create product video there is no category it's category id okay and you can ask what this create do if you hover over in create it's this creates a new entity instance and copies all entity properties from this object into a new entity that means create product dto what field or properties in create product dto is assigned to this product entity type we can do this like this let's be equal to product then object dot assign now product entity product entity is our target and source is create product dto that's the same thing this line and this line is the same thing so let's just suggest this i am using this okay save this now open products controller here this is create method it will same return promise and product entity type so set this now open terminal and run the server okay it's running it's open postman before this we have to before creating products we have to first log in and abc this is we know that this one is admin so please make a request now we have our access token copy this here is products route for creating headers then authorization there are put new found access token body here is title description price stock images now it's not category it's category id sorry category id let's send a request now we have got our information so this created a new product okay next we will work on find one find all etc till then bye